I was there when your parents brought you home, wrapped tightly in blankets. They let me sniff you all over. Frankly, you weren't so interesting then. Being a puppy, I played with my squeaky toys and made messes for your already tired mother to clean. I was there when you started crawling across the floor. You'd giggle and pick up anything you could find. You'd also tug on my tail and pat my back. I mostly stayed out of your way when you came around, but sometimes I wouldn't mind getting into trouble with you. I was there when you took your first steps. Your parents squealed with joy. Soon after, I was walking alongside you as you tentatively walked around the house. It was always good to be around a toddler. There were usually crumbs to lick off your hands and face. Underneath your high chair, I could sit patiently and was rewarded with crackers and noodles thrown over the edge of your tray. I saved your mom time cleaning up by eating it all up for her. I was there when you were riding your trike up and down the driveway in the hot summer sun. I would bound after you. You would laugh on the top of your lungs until you were out of breath. We would watch cartoons together. Well, you would watch the cartoons. I watched you closely in case you dropped any snacks for me. Then I would lay my head in your lap and you would scratch my ears. I was there when you woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't breathe or move. You were in danger and I knew it. I barked and scratched at your parents' door. They opened it to go put me in the garage, but I ran to your bedroom and barked. Your parents took you away for a car ride and unfairly left me at home. They came back without you, without my boy. I paced back and forth. After a while, you came back and threw your arms around me and told me that I was a good boy. I was there when you would leave on a big smelly bus. I hated that you would go away. I was always waiting for you by the time you would get back. Then we could play. You would throw me a ball or a frisbee and I would catch it for you. I was there when you'd sit at the kitchen table spending countless hours writing on papers. Sometimes you would cry, sometimes you would complain. As you got older you would mutter under your breath. I stayed by your feet to give you comfort and sometimes you would pet me while you worked. I was there when those bullies from school showed up to our house. They called you names and started throwing rocks at you. I knew they would try and hurt you and ran at them growling and barking. He gave me such a big hug then. I was there when you would practice with an oval ball with your friends. These days you didn't spend as much time with me. You still took me on long walks and made sure I was fed. You were a busy boy. You still called me a good boy. One time a girl came over and both of you were so nervous for some reason that I started looking around to see what was going on that could may possibly make you scared. The girl came over a lot. I was there when the robber came into the house in the middle of the night. I barked and growled and ran at him. I tore a part out of his pants as he escaped through the window. The whole family woke up frightened and you told me I was a good boy. Later the police took away my prize. I guess even people like ripped pants. I was there when the girl came over. You were more nervous than ever. You pulled something out of your pocket and she started crying. I jumped up to lick away the tears. Both of you laughed. For some reason, we had a lot of boxes stacked around, and you took me in a long car ride with the girl to a different house. I was an old dog now. My bones ached, and I was too tired to run around the yard to dig up holes or to nose through the trash. Most of the time, I just stayed inside and laid on my basket. I would still wag my tail when you came near me. My whole life you'd been there for me, just as I'd been there for you. One day I, I hurt so much. It hurt when you'd pet me, and I would just yelp from the pain. I could feel a difference inside of you. Usually you were happy, and sometimes you were sad, but you were especially sad when you took me on a car ride wrapped in blankets. You put me on a steel table with tears in your eyes. I thumped my tail to let you know that it would be okay. You were there for me when I got my tail stuck in the door. You were there when a snake bit my leg. You were there to feed me scraps when mom wasn't looking. You were there to hug me when the thunder would scare me. You were there to run your fingers through my fur and give me just as many kisses as I gave you. And now you're here making sure that I don't suffer longer than I have to. You're a good boy.